2020 was a rough year. Between the forest fires, the world-ending plague, and the accelerated breakdown of society, I've begun to grow accustomed to a constant level of anxiety that 2021 just cannot match so far. Vaccine rollouts? No thank you. I need to feel like life isn't worth living, so I turned to the absolute worst movie I've ever seen. I turned to Cats. Cats movie has many things in common with Cats musical. No one asked for it. No one really understands it. Cats. But why? Cats follows the story of felines competing in a talent competition in order to be reborn or sponsored by Simon Cowell. Much like the X Factor, each cat has their own unique sad story, because true talent doesn't shine unless your parents are dead. So back to the story. There's an evil cat, held up by Taylor Swift. He wants to be a jelly deal, no one is really sure what that means, but I assume a recording contract is included somehow. Unfortunately, his story just isn't sad enough for Simon, and this cat wins instead. Then she flies away on a balloon. No, really. The CGI in this movie is truly terrifying. Just look at this. This is going to triple the amount of medication I have to take to get through each day. James Corden is in this movie. James Corden is to comedy what Coldplay is to music. Although now he sings, so James Corden is to music what Coldplay is to comedy, I guess. Uh, one of my friends recently advised me to try and be more positive when I write reviews. So... positive... um... I guess this film gave my sleep paralysis demon a form? Uh, it was less upsetting than a car crash I saw once. If, like me, you watched this film because you like cats, the animal, and not the furries, I've made a list of better cats you can devote your time to. There's this cat. This cat. This cat from the film Cats and Dogs. Cat Stevens. Dewey, the small down library cat that saved the world. Cat Dealey. Kit Cats. Cat Trina in the Waves. Catch 22. Catherine the Great. Caterpillars. Pretty much any cat, if I'm honest. In finality, this film was awful. It made me sad, and I'm going to use that sadness to write some new jokes. So really, it was great. 9 out of 10, would watch again. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you liked this video. And thanks as always to Indie Film Library for hosting my reviews.